right, hello everyone. My name is Greg with Let's Print Big. And today I'm going to do a little video and talk about our cornhole wraps. And we're going to do a little install, show you how easy that is, and go over a couple questions we tend to get constantly. So let me show you a few things. This is a board I've had for years. Um, it's got one of our wraps on it. Uh, this is a laminated wrap. It was laminated. We ran it and laminated it. Um, so I did not have to put any poly coating over the top. Um, and that's what I recommend to our customers. Um, always. If, if, if I had the choice, I would purchase laminated. And let me try to explain that a little bit. Why? This wrap here, the eagle, that I'm getting ready to put on this cornhole board right over this old decal is a laminated decal. Now, right next to it, I have, unfortunately, not the same decal. I wish I'd have had it non-laminated so I could show you the difference, but hopefully you can see it here. This wrap here has no laminate on top of it. Laminate is a clear gloss second coat of vinyl that we put over the graphics that protects it from scratches, from sun fade. It can sit out in the sun all day for up to five years and not get any sun fade at all. Um, so there's really no need to put any coating over the top. So laminate is this stuff right here. This is our laminator that we apply this gloss laminate, another layer of vinyl just as thick as the original decal right over the top. This makes the decal double the thickness of a non-laminated one. And believe it or not, it makes a huge difference when you're putting it on. Um, a non-laminated is harder to install because it's thinner um, and I don't really know how to explain it other than that. Um, you'll have, uh, you'll like the laminate better. Um, we've got a lot of builders that like buying non-laminated and they have to put in all this extra work to put poly coating over the top and that's great. You can do that with either one of these. You can put poly over the top of a laminated decal or a non-laminated. Um, the thing with laminated, once your board is prepared to put it on, you put it on and you can take it out and start playing on it. Um, so, uh, this one I put on several years ago, you can see the edges are not peeling up. They're not, it, it's applied very well and stuck very well. It's been out in the yard, we play with it. Um, so it, it's on the surface very good. So I'm, we get a question, can I apply a decal over another decal that's been on my cornhole boards? Um, we get a lot of weddings and stuff. They want to change the design of the cornhole boards they had um, for a wedding design, for example. But as long as your wrap is, is good and on your board, nice and pretty, you can lay another wrap right over the top. The key is, before you apply your wraps, um, to think of it like you're getting a car ready to paint. Every little imperfection on the playing surface of your board is going to show through just like it would a car if you, if you didn't have it prepared to paint well. So that's what you got to do with your boards. Now, um, a few things I want to mention. Um, people ask all the time, how do I prepare the tops of our board before we apply the wraps? We do include instructions that explain all this. We've got instructions on our website. But the main thing is decals, period, do not adhere well to dry wood. Sometimes they will, or you think they will, and a few days later they just kind of come up. It, wood, dry wood, is a porous material, and it just will not adhere well. So we do not recommend applying them to dry wood. We also do not recommend applying them to a painted surface. There are so many paints nowadays that are anti-stain resistant, which means it's also resistant to adhesives. So you can paint the surface of your board and let it cure, but then go and put a polyacrylic or a polyurethane coating over the top of that. 
you want this surface to be as smooth as a baby's bottom uh, and that means clear out to the edges just smooth so uh, we always recommend put a poly coating or two over the top of whatever you're doing on your board if you're painting it or whatever this was never painted we just had a poly coating on it it's actually mdf plywood that comes with a poly coating already on it you can buy it that way but it's expensive um, but it had a poly coating on one side of it already from the the hardware store and and just you can see that it just applies well it's been handled and hung and everywhere out in the hot sun and it just it makes all the difference in the world so um that's enough about the playing surface. The other question we get a lot of time, why doesn't my wrap have a hole cut in it when it comes? That is not the smart thing to do. You can't line up the hole when you're putting on a decal and expect it all to line up when you're done. We never do that. We don't print the hole in the designs um, because of lining them up and everything. You put them on, and you run your X-Acto knife right around the circle and cut it out. Don't make an X and cut, fold them underneath and then you're trying to apply vinyl to dry wood on the bottom and it will not work. Just run your knife around the circumference of the hole and forget it. There, there's no need to, if you want that hole to match the color, paint the inside of that hole before you ever put the wrap on. Okay, so I just thought of one other thing I uh, wanted to mention. Um, a regulation cornhole board is 24 inches wide and 48 inches high. That's the size. We run our cornhole wraps and at 24 and a half inches wide by 48 and a half inches wide. And then when we trim it, we'll trim a little bit of that off just to, we don't want to leave any white around the edges. So you know, at usually you're going to get somewhere around 24 and a quarter inch to 48 and a quarter inch. So you have a little excess all the way around the board that you're going to trim. You're going to run your X Exacto knife all the way around the board when you're done. It just gives you room to move it around. It doesn't have to be perfect with the edges or anything like that. You just center it and put it on. Don't make it any harder than it needs to be. You need three supplies. You need a good sharp exacto knife, a squeegee, which can be a credit card, and painter's tape. That's it. So let me put this on and we'll try to show you how it's done. So if the design doesn't matter as far as trimming off any of it, you don't, you don't worry about it. You might start with one edge right where you want it. That way you don't have to trim that when you're done. So I'm going to start this right at the very edge on the bottom so I don't have to trim the bottom. I'm just centering it over this, making sure I've got the same excess all the way around. Okay, no big deal. Now I'm gonna run with painter's tape. Up here about oh, six inches or so. And all this is gonna do is keep this in place. So I'm gonna put it here and I'm gonna wrap it around. It's just gonna hold it for just a short few minutes here. So now that I've got that, I double check, yes, I'm good. I got this edge right here straight. If anything, you want some hanging over. It's the same all the way around. And my tape let go here, so I need to get a little longer piece. Okay. Now I'm going to fold this up. 
and peel this away from the vacuum. Oh, and one more thing probably would be helpful. You can use your X-Acto knife, but let me get a pair of scissors in this case, because I don't want to cut through the previous decal I had on here. So this tape is just acting like a hinge. Keeping it in place so we keep the alignment. We're going to pull this back right to here, and I'm going to cut this excess off and get some of it out of my way. Now I'm going to just let it fall. This is the first point where you realize that a laminated wrap is much easier than a non-laminated. A thinner wrap won't lay down this easy. Now the other thing is we only use air egress vinyl. We've been using Aura Cal, Aura Jet vinyl for years um, because it's been our customers favorites um, it's got channels in the adhesive or in the back that there is no adhesive this allows the air to escape and you don't get any bubbles in it i love it yeah, i use we use it for all kinds of things not just cornhole wraps okay i've got this section applied it's not going to go anywhere now. I no longer need this tape. We've got it started so that it's not going to be crooked. You might. Okay, so now we've got this done. It's not going. It's already adhered to the board here. I'm going to flop it over this way. And you can see we've got our vinyl here started. I'm just gonna peel this back a little and I'm gonna flop it back. And I'm gonna squeegee just this. I'm not peeling the whole thing off. I see so many videos where people peel the whole thing off and then they get all jacked up putting it back down. Uh, I don't recommend you do that. Just peel a little bit. Let's squeegee this on. And I'm gonna... So we're just gonna squeeze you this section, boom, we're done. Now we're gonna reach under here and we're gonna peel a little more back. And we're gonna squeeze you that. Now, I don't know if you've seen that little wrinkle there, but I didn't have to peel it back and get that wrinkle out because of the air aggress vinyl. You can work it and it'll just push right out. So, like right here. Okay, that much is done. We're gonna pull it and go a little farther. And we can just do this a inch at a time. Keep our hand on the backing here. Do that much, pull a little more. I love this air dress vinyl. It just goes on so so nice. Bubbles aren't aren't anything you gotta deal with. Just remember you're not trying to do the whole board at once you're just doing an inch or two at a time pulling the backing as you go we're not worrying about the hole we're putting it on like this hole up here doesn't even exist just going to go right over the whole 
whole playing surface, hole included. Always start kind of at your center and work out each way. Angling your squeegee helps as you're going. You're trying to, you're pushing the air out. And kind of keep in mind as we get up here towards the hole, you don't want to push down into the hole. We'll, we'll kind of go around that. No need to push like hard. You just nice and gentle. There's a little speck of dirt underneath there. That's showing through. That goes back to what I was saying about preparing your surface. I didn't wipe this off. I mean, again, I wiped it before the video, but I should have done it again before we did this. But hopefully that's the only speck of dirt. Okay, I can see the hole right here. We're just going right on like it's not even there. got the worst of it. What would that take? Five minutes maybe? This is the hardest part of the deal. And it's not that hard. I know if you've never done it before it seems daunting but it's and to me cornhole wraps make a set of cornhole boards look awesome. I mean you can make it anything you want they're so beautiful, they just look good sitting there, whether you're playing or not. All right, that's it. It's on. You can see the hole right here. I'm gonna just kind of run along the edges, make sure they're down. The bottom here, I don't even have to trim. I'm gonna go. Along this edge, and along this edge. Now, cutting the hole out, no big deal. Just find the edge, you got a nice new razor and a sharp X-Acto knife blade. And just right there, I'm gonna go zoom all the way around the hole. There we go, done. Ouch. Now we might just take the squeegee and run around the edge of this. Now with the laminated wraps, um, you can apply a poly coating over if you want. Um, just extra protection. And especially if you didn't get your edges good. If your board wasn't super clean on the edges, you might have some peel back a little bit here. But if you have a nice, if you prepared it, ready to go, it's going to stay forever. Edges the same way with the, that I did the hole. This little excess we got along here, you just run your razor right along the edge, trim that off, trim the top, trim that side, and this is done. Um, less than 10 minutes once you get everything set up and then you got a really pretty nice board so thank you 
for watching the video. Thank you for being a customer and until the next time, we'll see you later.